Hello, I'm going to show you how to remove the compressor hub for a Denso clutchless compressor like a 7SEU 17 or a 6SEU 14 or like that. These are Denso clutchless compressors. This is not a clutch, it's just a hub with a breakaway feature. And I'm going to show you how to do that using the Detroit Thermal three pin tool. Okay, first thing is pull the snap ring. The snap ring has a little uh, bevel on it. Um, this snap ring is just a secondary feature. It's not even engaged. There's kind of about a milli millimeter and a half gap right there. So get a screwdriver under one of these bevels, pry it towards the shaft, and then forward. Out it pops. Okay, next you take uh, my clutch tool. Looks like this. It's machined with uh, three pins, and this side is a 28 millimeter hexagon, seven millimeter six point socket. Um, this hub has a lot of torque on the shaft. Feels like you're gonna break a quarter inch ratchet. So here's what you do. Uh, three pin tool just goes into the three holes on the compressor. Seven millimeter socket goes in. Uh, now I'm gonna turn the shaft clockwise. I'm gonna turn the three pin tool counterclockwise. I'm just gonna use an adjustable wrench. You could also put a 20 millimeter on there if you have it, but that's, that's a pretty big wrench. Uh, so this guy has a lot of torque. Uh, the first time you do this, you'll realize why this, this cannot be a quarter inch drive. Okay, pops loose like that. Uh, now all you have to do is spin the pulley and the hub walks himself out. Okay, like that. Next up is the snap ring. So this snap ring has little uh, windows in it. Uh, I call them windows. Um, easiest way to get this snap ring off is with a pair of uh, snap ring pliers, but the, the pliers you use have to go wide enough to reach these holes and to spread the snap ring. And that's a little bit unusual, so I've got a lot of pairs of snap ring pliers that will not work for this. Either they go to, they don't go wide enough or the, um, or the pins aren't far enough out to get in there. Um, you also have to pry this up a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but the, the holes are partially into the snap ring groove. So, you can't get a round pin in there unless you pry it out just a little bit and then you can get a snap ring pin in. Pry that out a little bit. Okay, comes out no problem. Uh, so if you don't have a pair of snap ring pliers that are, that are suitable, you don't want to buy one just for one job, let me show you what to do. Here is another way. Okay, here's what you do. You get two screwdrivers, a, uh, a big one and a small one, or I guess two kind of small ones. You'll, you'll see what fits in the windows. Um, and what I do is I put one in the window and then one to catch this ear. I pry it a little bit and I get my little guy under there so that the snap ring doesn't go back into the groove. And I go to the next window, a little bit more. more so I'm trying to be really gentle work this snap ring up out of that groove there 
There it goes. So you may or may not be able to do that in the car. Um, for sure, with a with a nice pair of snap ring pliers like this, you could do it in the car. Um, and if you use this tool, uh, you can almost always do it in the car. This is only about an uh, um, inch and a half of clearance you need between the front of the hub and the back of the, of the socket wrench. Okay, so now the bearing is ready to come off. The, pulling and the, the pulley and the bearing are ready to come off. And normally they just slide. Uh, the this bearing isn't a press fit. It's just a slip fit. So It should just slide off. This one needs just a little bit of help I'll Put a puller on there These uh, ribbed pullers Are really nice for this Um, this pulley is plastic, so if you uh, try to pry on it or smack it with a hammer, uh, you are going to chip it. Um, if you're replacing this, it's probably because this bearing went bad on you, so maybe you don't care about that. Uh, okay, so to reassemble it, it's just... Um, Go in the opposite way, press your new pulley on, snap ring in, make sure you get it to click down in there good. Okay, and then this spider, sorry, hub, goes in with uh, the fingers in between each isolator. Um, and you can see that uh, this pulley is, uh, is a breakaway feature because uh, if, if the compressor should lock up um, and seize the shaft, then these tiny little sections of aluminum are designed to break away and uh, that way you don't use your whole front end accessory drive belt um, you've really just lost your air, com air conditioning compressor which you already lost anyway so that's a safety feature and and because this is a kind of a, a fragile aluminum part um, these things sort of scare me because you're supposed to use this with an air impact wrench. Well, that's the only way you can use it, is an air impact wrench. And that's fine for taking off a pulley and a hub that you're gonna replace anyway. But if you wanna tighten this thing with an impact wrench, um, that's kind of dicey, because this, this, this is a pretty fragile part. Um, I wouldn't hit an aluminum thing like this with an impact wrench. Um, my tool is easy. I don't even think it's, uh, it's worth the bother of spooling out a, a compressed air hose. Okay, so to put it back on, I'm going to go in the reverse direction. So a three pin tool in with the socket wrench. Okay, so this time the shaft is going to go counterclockwise, three pin tool clockwise. And uh, like I was saying before, if you do it with this tool, you know exactly how much torque you're putting on this hub. It's not sort of a guess with an impact wrench. Um, that's the right way to do it. <clears throat> so you can put same amount of torque that uh, it took to get it off. Okay, then all you got to do is feed in the snap ring, which is really easy. 
start one end into the groove. Work it around. Clicks in. That's everything.